everyone. My name is Maki, and I've come from Japan to share the brilliance of the Gundam series. Do you all like Mobile Suit Gundam Charles Counter-Attack? I absolutely adore this work as well. It's a movie where the protagonist of the original Gundam Armor Away battles his rival Charles O. There are so many highlights in this film. I believe many might agree that the most thrilling part is the last scene. It's the scene where an asteroid named Axis is about to fall onto Earth. Anna Wake tries hard to push it back using the new Gunnan. It's a scene that gets your rock pumping. But those of you who are knowledgeable about space might have some questions about this scene today. I would like to talk about that scene in detail. Some might say, it's strange to try and push back a falling meteor from below. I'm sure there are those who hold such an opinion. Those with scientific knowledge might think like this pushing an asteroid falling towards us from the downward direction is incorrect. The asteroid is being pulled towards us because it's losing its velocity. In that case, increasing its velocity would shift it to an orbit that pulls away from the Earth. Therefore, it would be more accurate to depict it as being pushed from behind its direction of travel. This is indeed scientifically correct. To Shio Okado, a writer involved in the production of Mobile Suit Gundam Charles Counter-Attack, commented on this as follows I felt something was off when I first saw the draft of this scene. However, I didn't think that Yoshiyuki to me no would make such a simple mistake. I didn't feel the need to question this error. I judged that he was aware of the mistake and intended to produce the anime this way. I thought he believed this method was most appropriate for expressing the charm of the art. Mobile Suit Gundam Chill's counterattack has a significantly different point from previous Gundam series, that is it meticulously carries out scientific verification. How do mobile suits launch from warships? What kind of structure would allow launching without wasting precious air? These points are very carefully depicted. What would be the correct depiction of free movement in a zero gravity hangar? What functions should a wire gun help? These elements are also thought free crafted. This wire action technique has been passed on to the new work attack on Titan. Yet, the depiction of the Gundam pushing back the asteroid axis was executed to Shio Kata evaluates no Shiyuki to me no's production style as follows overwhelming persuasiveness. A person who can invent depictions that even an elementary school student can instantly understand the principle and reasoning. However, I still can't think of a reason for the last scene of Mobile Suit Gundam Charles Counter-Attack. How do you see it? Firstly, I believe there's the factor of ease of understanding as entertainment. It's a very simple reason. There are elements that Yoshiyuki to me no values when creating Ani. He often says animation should be something that children can enjoy when they watch it. What would happen if in the last scene of Mobile Suit Gundam Charles counterattack the Gundam was clinging to the rear of the asteroid axis trying to accelerate it? Could a child instantly understand that scene? Or would you have the characters perform lengthy explanatory dialogues? None of these seem like good ideas. The depiction of the Gundam standing in the path of the asteroid and pushing it back can be understood in an instant, and we adults also love this scene. There is a famous anecdote about George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars. Star Wars fans had a question about sound. They said it's strange that there's sound in space. George Lucas made the following statement so there's sound in space. I can suddenly have spaceships flying around without any sound anymore because I've already done it. 
I discovered that as one of the rules of the of the of my galaxy, and I have to live with that. I believe Yoshi Yuki to me now had a similar thought process when creating this last scene. So, was our protagonist Amao Wei acting irrationally due to the creator's convenience was he manipulated by a special power emanating from a world separate from his own? A power derived from the entertainment value of the real world, I don't think so. What follows is just my personal opinion. Please be aware that this is not official information. And Mao Wei pushes back the asteroid. His allied mobile suits do the same. Eventually, even the enemy mobile suits try to push back the asteroid to protect the Earth. In this scene, Anel says please stop it right now. You guys mustn't commit such a foolish act. How did you interpret this line? It could be seen as admonishing their dangerous actions. However, didn't Emma already understand that what he was doing was meaningless? He himself had re-entered the Earth's atmosphere in the original Gundam. He is an ace pilot and a very intelligent person, having also been involved in the development of new Gundam. It's unnatural for such a person as Amma Owei to not understand the futility of trying to push back an asteroid. I believe he knew that what he was doing was meaningless and foolish. That's why he spoke those words to others who were trying to do the same thing. Even though he knew it was futile, he couldn't stand by in the face of Earth's crisis. But in the end, it is such non-logical human hearts that create the miracle. I speculate that if Amma Owe had acted on scientifically correct principles, the miraculous final scene would not have occurred. I believe the scene depicts how human emotions like passion and impulse can bring about miracles. Today, we discuss the final scene of Mobile Suit Gundam Charles Counter-Attack. How did you find the explanation from a scientific perspective? I also shared some of my personal thoughts. Let me add one more piece of information. According to those with extensive scientific knowledge, it's impossible to accelerate an asteroid away from Earth. Even if you try, the consensus is that it would be impossible unless there were billions of Gundams given the propulsion power of a mobile suit. What would you do if an asteroid was bearing down on Earth? There is one indisputable fact. The movie Mobile Suit Gundam Charles Counter-Attack is still beloved by many audiences today. Its passion has spawned many Gundam series, including Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching my show, I'm very grateful. See you in the next episode.